Hey everybody, today I'm going to review the brand new Power Wheelbarrow from Yardmax. This is a gas powered unit that's all wheel drive and it's going to be a lot easier to push around a lot of material with this than it would be a standard wheelbarrow. In fact, the unit itself weighs about 350 pounds and then you can put an additional 660 pounds in it, pushing around more than a thousand pounds when it's fully loaded. Now it's going to do so with really no effort on your part. And unlike a traditional wheelbarrow that only has one wheel on the front, and it's very likely to tip over if you get on an angle or you have too much weight on it, this one's not going to have that problem because it has a very wide wheelbase. And what I want to do in this video is give you some close-up looks at this. We're going to go over exactly how it operates, and then I'm also going to show you some tips that I found along the way using it that does make it a lot better. Starting the motor on this is very simple because the only thing you'll have to do is turn the fuel on, open the choke up, turn the throttle cable up to high, and then take the large on-off switch and flip it to on. At this point, the motor's going to start right up as soon as we pull out on the recoil starter. On the back of the motor is where you're going to change the gears using this large lever that will move left to right. There's a reverse, a neutral, a first, second, and third gear. And the main thing to remember is you never want to change gears while the unit's moving or you could easily damage the internal mechanisms. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the different speeds. To start out, I'll be in first gear. And as you can see, I'm walking very slow and I have excellent control with the unit. And this would be ideal if it was completely loaded down, I was loading it on a trailer or in the back of the truck because it's not gonna get away from me. But in third gear, because it is a very fast mode, you would wanna not have the unit loaded down or be on very steep inclines because it could get away from you because it is going a lot faster than the other two. Now loaded down with more material, it'd be easy to put it in second gear. I can walk a lot faster, it's hauling all the weight, and I'm not having to put any effort into it. I only need to steer the unit. And then finally, when you're backing it up, maneuvering it around, that's gonna be the same speed as first gear. It's not gonna run over top of you because it is going very slow, and it still gives you excellent control. On the handles, there are three different levers that do three distinct different things. On the left-hand side, we have two levers. On the right-hand side, we have one lever. Now, the levers underneath actually control the wheels on either side. So as it's going along, if you hold it on the right-hand side, the right wheels will stop turning, the left wheels will continue to turn, making you have a right-hand turn. If you release it, it's gonna go back straight again. And then to make a left-hand turn, if you pull up on the left-hand levers, the left-hand wheels will stop and the right-hand wheels will continue to turn. But the main thing to remember if you're dealing with any of this, the unit is not gonna move unless you hold down on the clutch lever first. You need to do this after the unit's running. This is this large red lever. You hold down on that and then you can operate the two sets of wheels individually. If you have a problem, just release the clutch lever and the unit's gonna stop immediately. On the right-hand side of the unit, underneath the lever and just above the tire about halfway down, you'll notice a separate lever, and this is to allow you to release the catch on the dump bed. Now with it forward, the dump bed's locked in place and it can't accidentally pop forward on you. But when you pull that back, the catch is gonna be released and now the dump bed can freely move. Now, even if this is loaded down with mulch, you have no problem at all releasing that lever and easily dumping off the load. And because of the center of gravity on it, it's gonna pop forward on you. The other thing to remember, once it is popped forward, because some of the load could still be pressing against the bed, just put the unit in reverse, back up a couple feet, then push the lever forward, and then lower the dump bed back down to lock it in place. Now to see how it does with a lot of material, I'm gonna load it down with all these bricks and chunks of concrete and we're gonna push it around through the woods to see how it does.
When it comes to moving this around, if you have a trailer like this or even a smaller one with a built-in ramp, it does make it really easy because you can drive it right up on there like you would a four-wheeler or even a lawnmower. But if you don't have a trailer, you simply don't want to use one. Using a set of ramps, you can also load it in the bed of your truck with no issues. The main thing to remember is to keep it in first gear. You don't want to go up faster than that because it could end up falling off the ramps. And if you do have a problem as you're loading it, even with the motor running, release the clutch lever. This is going to stop all four wheels at once and it's not going to get away from you. Now once it's in the bed of your truck, just shut your tailgate and throw a ratchet strap over it and you're going to be good to go. It's not going to move around on you because all four wheels are going to be locked in place. And then once you get to whatever location you're going to, set the ramps back up and then back it right back down. Now the tip I have here is to keep the motor off, put it in neutral and back it down manually. This is going to allow you to control it. It's not going to get away from you with having the motor trying to push it down the ramps. And if you run into a problem with it as you're backing it down, just release that clutch lever and all four wheels are going to stop and it's going to leave it in place. You can reposition yourself and then back it down the rest of the way. Now to test the maximum weight limit with the unit, which they rate at 660 pounds. In addition to the 350 pounds that it already weighs, I went down to Lowe's and bought a bunch of pre-packaged gravel as well as concrete. Now each one of these bags weighs 50 pounds. I bought 12 of them, which adds up to 600 pounds. And then I also bought a 60 pound bag of concrete. In total, all these bags are gonna weigh exactly 660 pounds, which is the maximum rating for this unit. We're gonna load it up and then see if it can drive around. And even hauling around it fully loaded with 660 pounds of weight, it had no problem going up and down hills or even making turns. Now the real test is to see if I can dump this because it is a manual bed, meaning I'll just have to release the handle and lift up on it. It does not have a hydraulic dump. Fully loaded, just using two hands, I'll lift up on it. And you can see we could drop the entire load right off. The tires on this unit are very heavy duty and we can see that it has very deep directional tread, which is ideal for loose ground or even wet soil. If you're driving across gravel, sand, or even dirt, this would be the perfect tire to use, but it's not gonna be the perfect tire if you're dealing with somebody's nice lawn. They're not turf tires, and if you have to make a sharp turn, these are gonna really dig in and tear up the grass, exposing the dirt underneath. A good solution would be to pick up a second set of rims and tires, one with this deep directional tread for certain situations, and then one with turf tires for a different situation where you don't want to damage the ground that you're driving over top of. A cheap and easy solution that I found for turf tires was actually trailer tires at Harbor Freight. The tire and rim combo off the shelf is only $30, and then I went ahead and bought four of those, so I had four matching wheels. With this, I now have turf tires on the unit, it doesn't have that super aggressive tread and it's not gonna tear up a lawn like the standard tire and rim combo would. With this, even though I had to buy a special set of lug nuts off eBay to make it work, 
I have under $150 in this separate set. And that means that if I'm dealing with, let's say, nice grass and I don't want to tear it up, I can pop this set on there. But if the ground's wet or I'm going across dirt, gravel, or sand, I can put the standard set on there with that very aggressive tread and have a lot better traction. So now you've seen Yardmax's brand new power wheelbarrow for yourself. And I'd like to know what you think of this unit. Are you impressed with its performance? I think if you get that second set of turf tires, it really opens up its versatility and you can use it in really all situations, especially if you're a landscaper, because you would not end up damaging the customer's lawn. But if you're in construction and you need to move, let's say concrete or gravel across a big job site, this is going to do that for you. And we loaded it down with 660 pounds of material and I dumped it with no issues. Now, lastly, this is going to be covered with a two year residential warranty and a 90 day commercial warranty. If you happen to run into a problem with it during that time frame, Yardmax is going to fix or replace this for you free of charge. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.